In this video, I'll show you how you can create your own chip cards in Home Assistant. I know you could just use mushroom cards, but it's more fun to make them yourself. And you might learn something as well. You'll need layout card and button card for this. Start by creating a new card and select the custom layout card card. Set it to grid mode and add the code for columns, rows, and areas. Then I go into the code editor and manually add the custom button card as the first card. Then I create my areas. Inside apostrophes and quotation marks, I just write one, two, three, four, and five. The dot in this example will be an empty cell or a spacer. The grid rows I just set to min content. And for now, I just make all the columns the same size. Okay, so if we go back to the visual editor, we can go into the first card and edit that by itself. I'll add a name, icon, and entity. This entity could be any device or button that you would like to toggle. For this example, I just have some toggle helpers, but you could use a switch, a lock, you could toggle a scene or turn on and off a light. Okay, so let's work on the design. For this chip card, I will need to style the card, grid, IMG cell, icon, and name. The grid will just be I and N. Icon and name next to each other. The card will just have a very small padding of 4px and a black background color. Then I'll make the name white with a 14px font size and a horizontal padding of 10px. You can't actually see the icon because the grid cell is too small, but I set the width and height to 20px. Let's navigate back to the layout tab and make the first column max content instead of 1fr. Then back in the card, I set IMG cell to width and height 40px, background white and border radius 100%. We can now set the icon to be black, just in case. It's also not perfectly centered, so I'll just tweak the position with a little margin. Now let's make the chip card actually do something. I'll set the tap action to toggle. You will have to set this to whatever suits your needs. You could start a service or run an automation. One easy way to generate the code for this is to open a new browser tab and create a dummy button card. This lets you set up the tap and hold action from the UI. You could then copy the code and use that in the chip card we're creating. Then let's style the chip based on the state of our entity. In my example, I look for the value of off, but yours could be something different like unlocked, for example. I then set a different icon, and I change the color of the name and the background color of the card. And as you can see, when I click the button, it toggles my entity on and off and changes the colors. Now we can add more chip cards. I'm just going to make all the columns the same size and remove the spacer cell. Then I'm going to copy the whole code for our first chip card and paste it onto a new card. Something I forgot to do was to tell the card where in the layout it should be placed. We do that by adding the view layout code to the chip cards. I like to keep this at the top so it's easy to find later on if I want to move the chips around. You can hopefully see now how that code relates to the grid template areas code in the layout tab. And the grid template columns tells the areas how wide each area is. If I now add a dot or a spacer in between the two areas and make it 1fr wide, it will push the two buttons to either side. Okay, then I want to create a secondary style as well, one that doesn't have a label. I set show name to false and remove the name. I also remove the state styling for the name. I then remove the background and border radius styling of the IMG cell. And I make the icon color white. The name styling and grid styling we can remove altogether. Then I just make the icon black when the state is off. Now you can just copy this whole code and paste it onto a new card. You will need to update the layout so that each new card get assigned a grid cell. Once you are happy with your individual buttons, it would be a nice idea to make them into templates so that you can easily reuse them and have them all update simultaneously if you do design changes. I have a video about how to make button card templates, so you should check that out if you're interested. I use these chip buttons at the very top of my dashboard. There I have a few scenes that we commonly use. Another great idea for them is to show if a person is home or away. I hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Until next time.